All right, I'm here with Jason Toff, who's the product marketing manager for Google Voice and Chat. And uh, we're looking right behind him, I'm looking right behind him, at one of the new Google Voice boxes that's going to be showing up on universities and also at airports uh, around the U.S. so people can see how Google Voice actually works. Um, and you guys haven't said how many of these will be. Any? Yeah, we're still figuring out exactly how many and where. Probably some in San Francisco, don't you think? Hopefully some in yeah. San Francisco. Yeah, all right. So look at local airport. Yep. Let's go ahead and take a look at the booth. Um, I was playing with it a bit earlier, and what I thought was interesting, first of all, is that it's it's not an actual dial, which would have been a lot of fun, yeah. but it's that kind of style that you go in there. Yep. And I actually picked it up, and I just started dialing without actually listening to anything, and, uh -huh. it, and it worked. Uh -huh. um, there was a little bit of a delay, but it turns out, it sounds like you get a greeting, you ought to wait and That's give right. it a moment from there. Yep. So when I pick it up, um, I'm hearing a little greeting. I may record these later on for people to hear it down the line. It says, welcome to Google Voice Phone Booth. Please enter the number you want to dial, followed by the pound sign. And then, do I need to dial a one when I go in here and I throw you No, it? no. If, if you're dialing an international number, you'll need to dial those prefixes, but otherwise you're good. Okay. And we've got this demo number that's all right to put out there for people, right? Mm -hmm. This is 646820-4453. And I'm giving that a go. I used this earlier called home, and the call quality was really, really clear. It was good, so good. it was good, great, great. and it came up. This particular booth came up as a uh, four one five number. Four one five number, yeah. yeah. So in the pro as we start setting them up, we'll actually start blocking the phone numbers, the outbound okay. numbers, so people can't call into the phone booths. But and now it's just starting to ring, uh -huh. and there was a delay there. I'll come back and ask you about that delay because you said that's something you're working on. I've got uh -huh. my second ring now, getting my third ring going on over here. So yeah. this, right now it's actually calling out demo accounts, oh. so no one's going to answer. Uh, our PM, uh, Craig Walker's on oh. this account, so his phone you might can, be ringing. You can hear his voicemail going <laughs> on in there. Yeah. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. <laughs> and I can hear his voicemail, and the quality's, the quality's snappling a little bit, snappling. but that sounds like more like it's his voicemail. <laughs> it might, than, it might be the voicemail, it might also be this phone. We found this like vintage style phone, yeah. which is uh, more uh, better looking than it is uh, amazing quality. But. It should still be pretty good quality. Well, I'll get my quarter back. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't get one there. So um, so tell me about that. There was that bit of a pause. It seemed like it was about 10 or 15 seconds. Yeah. Uh, what takes so long? Well, so the, the big pause that, the biggest pause that occurs with here is dialing into the Google Voice, voice server. So we, basically it's a normal phone and we want to connect it to Google Voice so that we can provide the free calls. And so we, we have a little device that we, we, uh, that we use in order to dial into Google Voice servers and that takes a few seconds to okay. make that connection. And you said that's going to change and that they're going to try to find so a way to speed we're, that up? we're trying to speed that up. It's, uh, an engineer's working on it, seeing how if you can speed it up. At the very least, it, it, it'll, at the most, it'll take two seconds. Hopefully, it won't even take okay. that long. And I, I thought the, the fun thing about this was it, it's actually completely different than how you'd normally use Google Voice unless you actually use it on your phone. Normally, yeah. you're, you're, you're doing it on the computer, you're dialing things or whatever. So yeah. it, it seems like the goal of this is really to let people understand the sound quality and get the idea you can make calls like that. It's the sound quality. It's really just to know Google Voice exists. So there's a lot of people we found that don't even realize uh, what Google Voice is or that it exists at all. And so we think that if we put these in airports and we put them on college campuses, mm. uh, first and foremost, people will see them and have a great experience calling anywhere in the world for free and then second of all they might go home having heard of Google Voice it might be more likely to try it out so we think it's good for people who might use it uh, but it also would be good for us. And when you get these into the airports is there going to be sign up instructions and things like that? Would be So know. there'll be a URL you can visit uh, to, to, to sign up. Um, still figuring out the exact specifics of that okay. but, but it, in short uh, there'll be some more information but really we're just trying to provide something that's really useful yeah. to people. To make it so I can call myself and then just send myself a text message <laughs> yeah. or something from there. So, yep. all right. Well, thanks very much. No Appreciate problem. it. Thanks.